The Dragon Ball series is easily one of the most popular anime of all time. Sure, the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT animated series ended all the way back in the 90s. But with all the power fantasies and Goku's incredible adventures, it's easy to understand why it's become such a pop culture staple for generations. It also introduced us to a lot of cool abilities and techniques, such as instant transmission, spirit bomb, and the ever-famous Kamehameha. And then there's the fusion technique which has helped our favorite Dragon Ball heroes achieve even greater heights than we could have imagined. Welcome to The Bestest, the channel that provides you the bestest news and videos you should know about. On this episode, we are showing you 10 of the most epic fusions that never really happened but are fun to imagine nonetheless. Before we start, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell for more amazing videos. You better stay till the end of this video because we're telling you, these crossovers look so cool and convincing, especially number one, that it makes us wish they'd learn how to do the fusion dance. Starting off with number 10, Piccolo and Krillin. Unlike the other fusions on this list, the Piccolo and Krillin fusion, aka Krillin, is actually a thing. Nope, not in the anime, but Prilin did make his debut in the Nintendo 3DS video game, Dragon Ball Fusions. In the anime, these two are seen performing the fusion dance while they were training Goten and Trunks on how to do it. Because of that scene, everyone kept asking, what if they actually create a fusion? Well, here you have it. A fusion character with Piccolo's black vest, baggy white pants, eyes, skin color and pointy ears. Combined with Krillin's six incense burns on the forehead, lack of a nose and height. Oh and before we move on, how about just one quick Dragon Ball joke? What vitamin supplements did the doctor prescribe Piccolo to take? No idea? It's iron. Why? Because he's anemic. Get it? Anemic? N no Oh. Okay, let's just go back to our list. At number 9, Android 18 and Android 21. Here's another Dragon Ball character fusion that never really made it to the anime, but thanks to Deviant Art Illustrator Ermenzul Tribute, we get to see what it'd look like if Android 18 and Android 21 did a fusion and ended up with, as the fans would call her, Android 39. Android 39 would have been the most powerful android in the Dragon Ball universe, with 18's face, 21's clothes, and a combination of their hair colors. Sure looks intimidating, doesn't she? At number 8, Vegeta and Endeavor. Everybody knows how Vegeta is the aggressive, egotistic, hot-headed rival of Goku. My Hero Academia's Endeavor is not too different from Vegeta. He is prideful and is obsessed with proving that he is the strongest hero. Combine these two and this is what you get. Created by art by Mike Strong, this fusion has Vegeta's iconic hairline and scowl, made even scarier by adding in Endeavor's flames and costume. With Vegeta's Saiyan powers and Endeavor's quirk, do you think they'd finally surpass their respective rivals? At number 7, Satsuki and Ryuko. Yes, we know they're from the same anime, but who'd have thought that the main antagonist and the main protagonist would make one hell of a fusion? These two ladies from the anime series Kill La Kill were combined in this fanfic art posted on Pinterest by user Joshua Pig. Here, their fusion shows a threatening character with Satsuki's menacing looks and voluptuous body in a less skimpy version of Ryuko's costume and her hair only made longer. Can you imagine just how powerful it'd be if these two characters fused and were then equipped with Ryuko's red scissor blade. 
at number 6, Deku and Luffy. This time, let's combine two different protagonists from two of the most popular ongoing anime shows out there. One Piece's Monkey D. Luffy and My Hero Academia's Izuku Midoriya, or Deku. It's easy to imagine how these two would successfully create a fusion given how much they have in common. They both have a strong sense of justice, are absurdly loud, and are very driven towards their goals. Now imagine if their fusion could combine Deku's One for All and Luffy's Gomu Gomu Devil Fruit. Designed by art by Mike Strong, there'd be no stopping this fusion from being either or both the Pirate King and the greatest hero of all time. Aren't you just thankful for fans who turn our what-ifs into reality? But don't leave just yet because we've got five even more amazing fan-made fusions just for you, and number one is definitely worth an anime crossover. Going back to our list, at number 5, Zoro and Ichigo. If Luffy gets to do fusion, why not Zoro too? And for this one, he's traveling to the Bleach universe. What we really love about this crossover is that we know just how good Zoro and Ichigo both individually are with a sword, right? So if you combine the swordsmanship of these two, not even Hawkeye Mihawk, Himura Kenshin, or Berserk's guts will stand a chance. And we don't mean to be shallow, but just look at how cool their fusion would turn out to be on this piece from Art by Mike Strong. Complete with Ichigo's Zanpakuto and its Bankai version, plus Zoro's Wado Ichimanji between his teeth. Whew, that's a lot of testosterone, but how about another female fusion with number 4, Android 18 and Hinata. Yep, everybody's favorite Dragon Ball Android is making a comeback on our list. Only this time, she's doing a fusion with a timid girl who eventually became Naruto's wife, Hinata Uzumaki. Yes, they may be opposites, but thanks to IG user Mayara underscore Scarlet Dran, it wouldn't be difficult anymore to visualize in Android 18 Hinata Fusion. Although she still would be wearing clothes similar to Hinata's, has her hair color and her unusual Byakugan eyes, all these just look more frightening when put against Android 18's face, complete with that apathetic glare that's sure to give you chills. Making it to number 3, we have Kirua and Kakashi. We don't know what it is about white hair that just makes anime characters cool, but we are loving this fusion character that is designed by, once more, art by Mike Strong. Here, we see Hunter x Hunter's Kirua's signature yo-yo and scary hands, coupled with Kakashi Sensei's Sharingan. With Kirua's electric nen and Kakashi's lightning, this is sure to be one electrifying fusion that's bound to be a fan favorite. We have another character making a comeback here at number 2, Ichigo and Naruto. If previously, we fused Ichigo with Zoro, this time, let's see what it'd look like if he'd do the fusion dance with another main protagonist, with a simple-minded, easy-going, cheerful Naruto. In this fan art by Deviant Art user Courtney Love 7, we see her version of a character she calls Narugo Kuromazi. This character has Naruto's whiskers against Ichigo's face. Although he sports Ichigo's Zampakto, he's got the number 9 painted on the blade and on his arm, which probably means that he'd also possess the ability to go full on Nine Tails mode if he has to. We are finally at number 1, and this is a crossover fusion you wouldn't have imagined until now. Ready for the reveal? At number 1, Gon and Obito. Yes, yes, we know it's kinda difficult to picture this one. On one hand, you have Gon Freaks, a young, curious, friendly boy who is always searching for adventure. And then on the other hand, you have Obito Uchiha. Who 
just has one of the most tragic backstories that led to him turning into the guy who started the Fourth Shinobi World War. But if we take a look at young Obito, before all the misfortune and Madara's exploitation, that's when it starts becoming easier to picture him fusing with Gon. Like in this fan-made art posted on Instagram by Art by Mike Strong. To begin with, they both have black spiky hair. At first glance, you'd see Gon's face, but looking closely, you'd notice that he has Obito's Sharingan and his Nan tinged the famous orange color that later became the color of Toby's iconic mask. After this fusion, do you think Gon's heart will overpower Obito's turning to evil? And that concludes our list of the most epic anime fusions. Which among these 10 do you think would be the most powerful of them all? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the bestest and make sure to hit the bell to access more of our videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next bestest video.